Now that's me just finished the soundtrack for this next video and done all the audio overdubs. For this trip, myself and my mate Sean, we hired a canoe from a company at Loch Lomond called In Your Element. Um, I thought I would give them a quick plug as they were a very efficient company to deal with and they made organising this trip very easy for us. We picked up a 16 foot Ventures canoe which was a perfect size and um, it could take a, a good weight as well. Both of us, all our camera equipment, camping gear, a few beers and a lot of food and it handled the water very very well, felt very secure, it was very stable. Um, as I said I highly recommend In Your Element, they were a great company to deal with. Um, anyway, get to the video. Enough of me waffling on. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. We parked our car at Aldochley Bay, which is just south of Lush on the west side of Loch Lomond. Um, and we canoed out towards Inch Taverna, the first island that we explored. We then headed south um, towards Inch Moan, which was the second island and then on to Inch Conachan, where we had a bite to eat and continued through the channel to the most northerly island out of the group of islands that sit on the south of Loch Lomond and um, that one's called Inch Lonaig. We then decided to head back and set up camp on Inch Conachan Island. We just arrived at Lush Get everyone put into our dry bags and we're heading over here. We're gonna go down here, launch a canoe for here and head across towards that island and through that gap there roundabout. See where we go from there? that way, over behind us here, and right around the side of this island. Try and find a bit of camp, basically over the other side of this. What a day, stunning. I've just stopped off here to get a wee quick bite to eat and drink your water. Absolutely stunning location, absolutely amazing. The weather's turned out a lot better than expected as well. There's Sean there just getting a wee energy bar in him. <laughs> a couple of other people in a canoe there. What a location, this is just stunning. We travelled approximately six and a half miles and we decided to head back to Inchconachan Island to set up camp there. At the time it seemed like the best decision as we were sheltered from the wind at that side of the island. 
but as you'll see later in the video, as the sun set, the midges came out, <laughs> um, and it was probably the wrong decision. But anyway, we had set up camp, and we were going to get something to eat, get the barbecue on, and get the drone out, get some aerial footage, and obviously get the cameras out and get some pictures. is on, we're both absolutely starving. We've got two steaks, two burgers, some asparagus and a few baby tomatoes. Standing here drilling over the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> As we were waiting on the steaks, cooking in the barbecue, I decided to have a wander about the campsite with the camera. As the sun was lowering, there was some nice light across the forest. It was lighting up all of the trees and the plants. So I tried to capture that and a few images. I also took this time to set up the image I was hopefully going to get at sunset with the canoe in the foreground and the S shape of the land on Inchconican Island just leading your eye right out to the sunset on the horizon. Well, as I said earlier on, it seemed like the right decision to take shelter from the wind. It always does when you're a photographer, you're trying to hide out the road of the wind, keep your camera steady. But as the wind disappeared, the sun set, the midges came out and we get eaten alive. The last thing you want while well, trying to keep a steady hand to fly a drone is to get attacked by midges. They were everywhere, it was just near enough impossible to stand still. Um, <laughs> But we still managed to get some cracking images and some really great aerial footage. I'll leave you with a few of those images and some of the aerial footage that we got. Thanks for watching.
Well, as you can see, it's torrential rain. Um, we're getting absolutely attacked by, by midges. So we're getting everything down and we're going to get out of here as quick as it is impossible to do the slightest task. Try even tie a knot in a bin bag there was just impossible but midges everywhere. <laughs> so we're getting everything together and we're going to get out of here. I do apologise, this is a quick video on my, my phone. I'm not getting my camera out in this weather. <laughs> Good morning, Scotland. Well, that's us on route home now. As you can tell, it is heavy rain. Nice and calm though, the water's really still. There's not really much wind about. But midges are unbearable. So we're going to head home. Head back to the car first, maybe get some eat there. Then we'll get a roll sausage at. Wash, then it's open by the time we get back, it's still early there. Anyway, I better get back to the paddling because Sean's doing all the work, all the work he's still there. <laughs>